Hey everybody, welcome back to microbeerviews.com tonight. So, once again, 2018 limited release Lagunitas comes out with their Citronesis Pale Ale. Um, it's a blood orange IPA. I reviewed this last year. This is one of those kind of trends <clears throat> on my YouTube channel and website I'm trying to do more often where year after year um, we compare the different years, uh, see what we like, see what we don't like, see if it's worth spending your money on each year because I firmly believe and I am picking on Stone and Joy by right now that it is nowhere near the beer it was six years ago or whatever it was when it first came out. So anyway, that's why we're doing this one. So I am a huge fan of Lagunitas. Um, they describe this as a uh, refreshingly hot um, uh, pale ale with a huge citrus blast, um, hence the blood orange. Um, ABVs are 7.7%, IBUs are 49 um, it's only available from April until June. Most of the stores in our area, they'll get one big shipment, oh, decent sized shipment, I won't say it's big. And once they're cleared out, it's gone. So what they do with this beer is they take these, these blood oranges, um, and then it, it, they call it concentrate the juice. But in parentheses on the website, it talks about but without the heat. So what they're trying to do is get out as much, every droplet of that, that citrus flavor in there. And then it says they brew it with a weedier version of down, dog, dog Town Pale Ale. Um, so again, what they're really going for, for is a, a pale ale backbone with a huge blood orange citrus blast. Last year it was really good. Um, this year the price I think was only $12. Might have been $13, but I think it was only $12 for the six pack, which is cheap. Um, but again, that's what's happening to craft beer these days. So um, I can already smell it. Um, looks uh, much like a pale ale, a little yellow on, on the yellow side, perfectly filtered, nothing residual floating around. The, the head is 100% pure white. It smells like oranges and hops. Um, they don't tell you what the hops are that they use in these, but this is, uh, you know, kind of has a hint of, of mosaic hops in the background, maybe even some, uh, uh, some kind of herbally centennial and Simcoe hops in there. Um, it's got a little bit of the, that brassy tone to it, a little bit of that pininess, but it's, it definitely is overpowered, and it should be, by that massive citrus blast. So, as always, cheers. Let's get into the glass. Hmm. It's what I remember. It's a little bit more maltier this year, is what I would describe it as. Maybe that weedier side um, kind of comes out a little, a little bit more. The flavor definitely has the blood oranges. Hit you on the front of the tongue. Very smooth, clean finish. Kind of lightish body this year. Um, it is a pale ale, not an IPA. Um, it, it coats your mouth in orange and hops, which is exactly what it should be. Um, not real complex beer. It's not doesn't have a lot going on there as far as you know multiple layers and levels of of. of hops and, and citrus, I mean, it's, it's orange, maybe a tad bit of lemon in there, or lemon zest type of uh, fruit flavor, but it's good. Uh, for the price point this year, this is a great beer. I would buy more than one 12-pack of this. I drink it within that uh, three, 90 day, third, three-month window. Um, we rate our beer to one and five. I would give this, this year, I'd give it about a four. Um, I think last year I might have given it like a four and a half. It's got a little less bang to it, a little more, a little less pop to it, but um, it's definitely very much worth your hard-earned money. Well, once again, delivering it from Lagunitas, 2018 Citronesis. If you have tried it, please let us know. Leave comments on our YouTube channel or our website, microbeerviews.com. We'd love to hear from you guys. If you haven't already, please subscribe to the YouTube channel. And as always, we will see you again real soon. Cheers.